It's getting mighty cold in South Carolina. So we've got our stove all set up. We're gonna go ahead and install that sucker. Uh, I've also got the two seven inch flumes and then somewhere around here, oh man, I closed it in the truck. We have the top cap for the roof. I got my little shingles down here. I got a, a standard sheet, like a roll out sheet of shingle material. And then I got three shingles that we're gonna try to make some sort of flange on the roof. Keep the shop from burning down. Ah, there's the flume. So we got the flue top, whatever you want to call it. And uh, what we're gonna do is get in there, get this installed, see how it comes out. Um, fingers crossed, I went ahead and sheetrocked in the shop here. So I went ahead and sheetrocked that corner. Um, and then our flue is gonna go, I'm gonna lay some uh, cinder blocks here that it'll sit on. And then that's gonna go straight up. Then we're gonna cut a hole in our roof up there. Roof's gotta get replaced anyways, so we had a tree fall on it this summer. But that's what we're gonna do. Hopefully it comes out all right. Those are the cinder blocks I'm gonna use. Got tons of them and nothing to do with them. But oh yeah, that Big Joe, Big Joe 32, number 32. I don't know, somebody probably knows more than I do about it. It's a Hank's stove, Hank's stove. Number 32, Big Joe with our little flue top here. I'm guessing that's about seven inches. We got a little bit more work to do. We gotta get something to, you know, don't want the smoke coming out of there. And then uh, actually ran out of uh, stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna figure something. I might just use foil tape and tape that shut for now. Uh, you know, I kinda already welded on it a schmidge to stop the cracking, um, but you know, it's a big hole. We look down in there. I tested it out a couple days ago. Works great. Uh, the fix that we did on the side of the stove. You're gonna love this, all you welders out there. Oh God, it was huge. It was like a two inch uh, or an inch long uh, this way, inch long, and then like 12 inches of an open crack, and then just another five inches on either side of just damage. And we just, you know. Filled it with uh, nickel 99, 99 nickel, whatever it's called, rod, stick weld. Came out decent. It had concrete in it before, so that is a better fix than concrete. So let's get you set up on the tripod and uh, we'll get cracking on it. Hopefully it comes out all right. Wish me luck. Oh yeah, and uh, if you could hit that uh, thumbs up if you like the projects that we're, we're doing. Um, there's a new secret project uh, that I'm in the works of. You may have just seen the back of it. And just like that, the project's done for the evening. Pop belly stove installed. We'll take a quick spy up the pipe to the ceiling. As you can hear, it's been raining, or is raining. Hopefully you can hear that. And uh, no water coming in, so that's great.
I wouldn't have expected otherwise. I'm incredible at doing projects. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a little temperature check to see what we got going here. So we got 64 in the room. And then let's check our outside temperature. We got 46 outside. So uh, pretty, pretty cool outside. The reason for this potbelly stove is our fiberglassing has to have some heat. Can't do fiberglassing without it. But that is a project soon to be coming out.